The one and only Xylophony here, once again using the Pyramid of Light Great Sphinx cards to fight Mario's favorite god cards, the Nordics. So, mm -hmm. what's stronger, Vikings or Egyptians, huh? Or well, the Egyptians, I admit, were unique, but the Vikings were big, brutally men with hammers, giant swords. What would you build? Ships? We built pyramids. We built sphinxes. Can we stop this? And stop this! <laughs> Thank you. There we go. <laughs> too much rock, paper, scissors. Oh, God. We've been doing that Dude, too much lately, too. We got too. chariots, bro. We gotta ride it on you with chariots. What your little axe is gonna do about that? Actually, actually I don't know. Because I remember the thing about the Vikings where they, they had, like, hordes of people, despite being, like, seafaring yeah, people. Yeah, I know. It'd still be pretty effective. <laughs> I don't know. And that'd be That'd be an interesting... Matchup. Obviously, Vikings are really cool no matter what. So, yeah. And Egyptians are really, you know, got some really cool history no matter what. I, I don't know. So yeah, it's hard to tell. Huh. All right, we're going to yeah. Let's let's play it slow v slow. Because I know if I attack you, I can potentially set you up sometimes. So let's uh, go with the pot of duality here. Set one card. All right. Let's see you what I can search special out. Summon. No, I won't be able to. But it's I can't exactly do it immediately anyway. Ooh, I could get one of my sphinxes, or I could get skill drain, which could be funny. Yeah, the, I remember that card being in there because just having the 3,000, 2,000 beating sticks and an activating ain't bad. That. Yeah, I'm going to grab skill drain. And honestly, I'm not even going to put it on the field yet because I kind of need all the effects I can get. So <laughs> I'm certainly yeah. not in any position that I would want to use it yet. So. We'll roll with that. All okay. Right. Uh, okay, let's use Glyphnir. Very nice. And let's get... Mm. Yeah, which one are you aiming for? That's the question. Yeah, that is the question. Let's see. Mm. Boy, Thor is always pretty handy, but maybe maybe Loki's the answer here. Or I guess oh, mm -hmm. it's better than Loki sometimes. Well, certain occasions. Who's that gonna be? Pick a card. Just pick one randomly. It's fine. It's not gonna matter anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, I win this yeah, duel this turn. You win this duel already? <laughs> no, not quite. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna All set right. you so down. That going. Nice. Forget what that and... one's effect is, too. <laughs> well, you'll Ooh. find out. Will I? I flip the Caterville Omen! And now, I can select a trap and place it to the top of my deck. Ooh. And, of course, the Pyramid of Light coming into play. Do you ha do you have both of them, though? I have some. So. Alright, so now what you need to do is play a card that's going to shuffle your deck. Okay. Does this do it? No. But it is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it actually, even, uh... I was about to play a card that could potentially shuffle my deck, but I'm not going to risk it. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I mean, it was a potential. It wasn't a guarantee. So Yeah. But I think true. it's worth just not taking it. I don't think you would have done anything that would have made me shuffle my deck, but yeah. You made you make a good point. So, yeah, it's yeah cool. I'm just going to normal summon my gold facts and just attack you. Yeah. You could have forced to shuffle. Because I'll just say, I... Uh, I got a fire hand, so... Yeah, and right now I don't have anything that can force you to shuffle your deck, so... Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's kind of hard to do when you're, you know... There are some yeah. decks that can return cards from your hand or field back to the deck, but this ain't one of those decks that I focus on there. Yeah. All right, Um, right, I'm going to pop out. Yeah, we'll just run attack mode with the fire hand, because why not? Either you trade and I destroy. Yeah, it's a decent play. I don't need to flip this thing. All right, I'm gonna set this card. Okay. I'm going to end. All right, I guess I'm gonna go for the trade then. Let's see. First, uh, ooh, do I want to go for this yet? Do I want to play it slow? Hmm. Let's see. I kind of really want to play another pot of duality. Well, at least I know you won't be doing your uh. Yeah. Sphinx, no sphinxes here, but hey, good cards, right? 
Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get that full set up here. Regeki's mad tempting, but that mound. All Just to protect do... your uh, sphinxes. Yeah, so once I finally can bring one out, we're going to be looking okay. So let's see. Oh, this. that's right. This deck used to run the raw deck cards. Mm. That's that's another use of the mound. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, I'll go for an attack on Goldfax. Can you stop it? With a fiendish chain, yeah. Yeah, that's completely worth it. Okay. Um. Ooh, yeah, okay, I'm going to turn. Yeah, it's going to be the end. Oh, and you cancel the effect, of course, too. Excellent. Yeah, but I think it's a graveyard effect, so I don't think it oh, really yeah, matters. Oh, um, yeah, when it's sent to the graveyard, I think it'll still go through. I don't know, because it says sent to the graveyard. It's not a from the graveyard, so you never know. Yeah. Um. Yes. You have your uh, your chat off, don't you? Oh, yeah, of course. Always. Yeah, I think someone figured out the password. Well, it's okay. I don't have him showing. So you lost this round. I know you're watching this video. You lost. And Mario will just <laughs> ignore you now. <laughs> um, He's having see. a hard time by the sound of it. <laughs> All right. So no, no effects. Like... You cancel my effect, I cancel yours. That's how this is going to be. Yeah. So I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay. If I remember correctly, Andrew, the Sphinxes have issues. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna activate gun near. Get rid of that. Oh. Because I know that's your pyramid of light, right? It's yeah, true. it is. <laughs> Got me. And what I'm going to do is turn the it. Lights off. Skill trains in that kind of position. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what I'm gonna use it for. What I'm going to use it for is the fact of it's still a tuner monster. Yeah, so you can still bring out something. Darn it. This puts you into a nice little edge. Mm hmm And I'm just going to bring out the strongest monster I have in case you do bring out the Sphinxes. Ooh. That okay. way you can't... That way this guy can just match him in power. Yeah, that would match. And, and obviously I'm not... hand with no worries. I'm not going to because, as oh, we were yeah, saying, it's probably a know. graveyard effect. Yeah, we don't know. So... Actually, I know it does, because I know graveyard okay. effects aren't affected by skill drain. Well, it's a sense to the graveyard effect, so. Yeah, the only way I know that does, that works is if you were running, like, the Red Eyes Arch Fiend. Mm -hmm. Because you All can't right. activate cards until the end of the damage step, which Let's turns see. off any sense to the grave effects. Yeah, well, I actually didn't want to do it. I had a play that I meant to do, and I didn't do it. I still have a potential thing. Let's see. Yeah, you know what I think is going to go on here. I think I still have a play. It's still better than what you can throw out at this moment. So, Mound of the Bound. And hello! Cheeky little Malefic that was in here. Mm hmm. Which will have the power. Skill Drain that slows me down. Skill Drain is. Yeah, absolutely. I was like, dude, if, if I don't use it right now, he's about to pull out one of his things right now. You know, you know I was hesitant to use it until I got the Sphinxes out, but. Yeah, I yeah, should've just... Yeah, we countered each other. <laughs> just no Sphinx, no Nordics coming out. That's how this duel's going. But yeah, I mean, Skill Drain's limited to one. It's one card in a deck. It's unsearchable, so... You know, it's unlikely that this is gonna happen for multiple duels. Yeah. Though you do run three Sphinxes, I think. Oh, Sphinxes, yes. But I mean, not skill, skill Drains, I mean. A Cat of Omens. You. I guess you could search it with that, but... Obviously, I want to search something else with that. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. I guess what's going to go down here is we're going to flip some in the Cataville Omen. Wow. You know. What, do you got a counterplay for me? You want to cancel my not effect? <laughs> nah, I'm just trying to figure out if there's any way out of this right now. Yeah, look, I'm just going to normal summon the Sphinx. Cause... Oh, and you can attack with the Sphinx too. Yeah. So let's just hit things. And Mound of the Bound is going to help me still, so. Oop. Boom. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I'll be able to overwhelm that with Honest. <laughs> I was hoping to use that with uh, Thor or something to have like a. Yeah. Or, or Odin. That'd or be a fun seven matchup. to eight thousand. But yeah. Four to, 
Uh, it's 70,000 or 80,000 attack monster. Yeah, well, skill drain is the reason this game went that way, so let's see what happens mm -hmm. this time. First turn skill drain, let's do it. Nice, got it. Did you really? We'll see. If you will know. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do here. Ooh, okay, that's a little iffy iffy. What am I gonna go for here? Okay, rather not have both of those at the meantime, but let's go ahead and set a card myself and end my turn. No skill drain. I mean, then again, I did the same thing last time. I didn't set skill drain until I had a play to work off it with. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to lose it. I'm a very patient Yu-Gi-Oh player. Sometimes you are. my downfall, usually not. Uh, yeah, let's bring... The yeah, more Nordic monsters. Yeah, this is actually one of the better cards in this deck. Oh yeah, free search. And it's like a mm -hmm. trap search, so it's different than a lot of arch types, which makes it a little bit worse, but still good. I mean, it's better for what I need it for. I would prefer to build spell card I could activate it anytime. Yeah, exactly, because then you could pull that real quick, but... Yeah, but I have a feeling it would be... They put some kind of limitation on it, and I feel like Trapway... Doing it in a trap was the only way. Possibly. Yeah. Just because lots of arch types have their search cards, but oh boy. Not, mm -hmm. not the goats. Oh boy. Is that the tuner? Yep, that's that's Thor. Oh jeez. I'm about to feel so Thor. Oh yeah. Alright, so yeah, you negate the effects of all oh, three something monsters. Okay, okay. Caterpillar Cat burn! Of... Yeah, I can't act. Yeah. yeah. Face up monsters, okay. Alright, skill so face down. Not really. <laughs> Pyramid of Love! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have a choice to make here. Actually, I don't think it's a terrible choice. Alright, yeah, I think it's still viable. Yeah, oh yeah, because I draw that right there. I did that on your turn, so that's good. Yeah, that's even better about Caterpillar Omen when I don't have to flip it myself. Okay. So. We're going to set a card. Could be anything. You don't know. And, uh, achoo! Oh, sorry. That was a Rikiki. Ah, uh, let's not. Hey. Go no. near, destroy your face down. Come on. <laughs> let's see. And do you get him back ever, or is that just gone? Yeah, he, I get him back at the second end phase. Rough. Okay. And you know what the best part is? Since he's coming back, that means I can place him in the monster zone. Rather than the extra deck. Yeah, on. true. So you might be able to get multiple out. Um, I guess we'll just put out some damage on you while we can. Fire hands. Catch these hands. So, man, you just ditching my. You keep doing the same thing. That's it. I'm I'm pulling out skill drain. This next draw, I'm doing it. Even though it's <laughs> you already got Thor. So, um. Yeah, because it's the effect of uh, Relic going near that put him out, so that's that. Yeah. That's what, I feel like that's one of the better things about the Nordic decks, is the Relics. Yeah, the Relics definitely couple with it so well, because there's a lot of archetypes that have, you know, specific spell cards that work really well with them, but those archetypes don't all have 3,500 attack point monsters. Anyway. Yeah, they're, as far as I know, the Nordic, the Nordic Synchros are still some of the strongest Synchros you can bring out. They're solid. It may be a little hard. Like, you have to run the specific kind of deck to run them, but they're not that hard once you have the right deck. So. From what some from some of the rumors I've been hearing, there may be new Nordic support coming. Yeah, that'll be interesting. You know we're going to do some videos on that since Nordic's one of your favorite. So. Oh, that was just perfect draw oh, right no. there. Oh, no. And I gave you I the tokens a... to set you up. Hey, Odin. How you doing? Yep. Say hello to your boy, Odin. <laughs> oh, no. Well, 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 well. Hello, all father. How are you doing? All right, so um, you're not going to do anything bad, you know, right? You're, you're going to be a good, nice guy, right? Well, I'm going to attack your uh, fire hand and also activate my face down card. Oh, no. Am I dead? Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Good. I made him immune to spells and traps. I coupled oh, that oh wrong. Oh yeah, true. I I messed that up. If I did, that would have been that would have been so much damage to you, actually. Yeah. How about effect monsters? 
Yeah, that's ice fine. Hand. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't it come back? Yeah, it wouldn't. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all right. All right, Thor, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, he comes back this turn. Gosh. Mm -hmm. At the end phase, if he's destroyed by a yep. battle or card effect, yep. uh, return him. And I get to activate his effect. Oh, no. Which allows, which allows me to draw an extra card. Oh, no. All right. So what are we going to do here? All right, you were so, dealing with only one issue, look, and now you're I got my Pyramid with... of Light, so back off. <laughs> I will special summon. Yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you can't even attack. You can't even attack. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Uh, I mean, uh, let's uh, set this man-eater bug and end my turn. You would just throw a one man eater bug in the Yu-Gi-Oh. No, you know, man eater bug like back in the day with the original Yu-Gi-Oh cards was one of my favorite. So, oh yeah, no, I no. I used to no no lie no lie. Back then in my competitive deck, I used to run one man eater bug just to throw people off. No one ever expected it. Yeah, so he, it. he was like the Spanish Inquisition. No one ever expected it, him. It's fair. Uh, All right, so yeah, it looks effect? like uh, <laughs> it looks like you might have you might have me now. Yeah, because I know for a fact you need to destroy a spell card in order to bring out Fire Hand. Mm-hmm. So, it's all right. You thought That's I was going to bring out Fire Hand. You thought I was bringing out Fire Hand. Nope. I'm bringing out another Ice Hand. <laughs> <laughs> And, then and honest. <laughs> uh, we're getting desperate out here, boys. Yeah, if I still had the Sphinx on the field that you could have run into, I could have popped honest, but that's all I was hoping for. Okay. Well, what do we got in this deck that's about to end your life? There's a bunch of funky looking cards. I know I can do some things. Look, I'll even summon another Fire Hands. Because we got him. Alright, so. How to defeat you. I got some XC cards. Um, I Utopia could be one of them. Well, some... Uh, hmm. What's the answer here? How can I beat <laughs> two Nordic cards? Because uh, either way... Nope, it would be hurt. hurt. It would be hurt. Yep. Let's see. Can detach this? This card can attack directly. Oh boy, you're not that far below yet. And let's see. This one. Yep, that's not gonna save me here. Okay. Well. All right. How are we gonna make this happen? I guess. Yeah. There's only really two possible things, and both are just gonna get rid of one of them. So we're gonna go with the whole play to, um, we're gonna just Utopia this. And then we'll go into, do I have other guys? Okay, yeah, I can actually, oh, I can hook myself up. There are multiple in here. All right, so we'll go into Prime and then Lightning after that. Okay, but, okay, so Thor is the one that you can negate the uh, effects. Effects, yeah, I can. So I want to drop him first. But Odin's still going to be scary. <laughs> Alright, so I will attack Thor. And yeah, I'd like to use Utopia. And get rid of... Uh, I guess we'll just send these guys to the grave. Yeah, and now Firehand. Just... I know it's hard for you since you're on fire, but chill. Thor, come back to the field. Yep. That's the problem there. Maybe I should have just went hard with fire hand. Because then I could have at least... Still hard to say. Oh, yeah. No, never mind. Thor's just going to be able to overwhelm that anyway, so it wouldn't have changed anything. Okay. We tried. We tried. I could have done it. I could have gotten around you. If... How? I silent honor arced Thor and then fire handed Odin. 
Then I would have held on to Thor, and you already used your um, tuner for Odin. I'll tell you after this okay. why that wouldn't have worked. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can tell me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, I have some trap cards to prevent yeah. that would prevent it. Obviously, that would be another factor. But there you go. Odin can take out. I'll use my effect! Hurrah! <laughs> yeah, thought so. <laughs> I love Thor. I really do. Yeah. So good. I just, even in competitive, if Thor's cancelate canceling effects, it's just still good. Yeah. Well, you were right about this at least. So, jeez, what do I go for? Cause I think you're out of tuners in there. Thor obviously is what aced me that time, but I could pull a spell card that could drop some. I'm gonna get Thor out of here, honestly. He's just a bigger threat right now. Yeah, because I feel like I have more effects. Like, I got Regeki and Dark honestly, Hole in here, but that's a low honestly, chance. And I already popped honestly, Regeki. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Thor is the better out of the three. Mm -hmm. I, feel like it, I feel like you're right about that. Ha! And I did get a spell card. Pot of Duality. <laughs> I just realized when I drew that Pot of Duality, I realized how lonely my hand was. <laughs> you're not going to be able to... Bring anything to your hand. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Twin twisters that I can't banish anything. I guess we you go for the you... Cataville Omen. But... Yeah, because you can't even use... Uh, you can't even use twin twisters. You don't have a card to discard. We pot a duality. That's what we do. Double pots. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I lost. Oh. <laughs> it was just a good hand for the Nordics. Yeah, no, that was great. We got to see the Nordics shine, so... Let's see if we can finally let the sphinxes shine rather than just having the pyramid torn down every time. Pyramids are still standing today. I don't know how this keeps happening. <laughs> okay. This one's for all the marbles. What do I want to go with these guys? What do I want to go? I don't know. I guess I run with traps. So do I want to go first? Yeah, I'm going to go first. Don't mess around like that. <laughs> one of my favorite cards. I set a card in my turn. Okay. Maybe it would have been nice to go second. Oh, okay. I forgot why why this card is in here. Now I remember why. Oh. Let, do you remember the last time the Nordics were facing something? It was like something for machines. Oh, your dirty counter card is coming back to bite you, huh? I forgot to take it out, yeah. Nice. Ooh, early man to the bound, though. You might be helping me. Maybe. He's confident out here. Alright, that's not bad. Because don't forget the Nordics also get boosted by this as well. Oh yeah, it's just whoever brings one out first is going to be in the advantage mm -hmm. here. Hmm, what do we go for here? I suppose... Yeah, it's not going to be very helpful. So, I... Hmm. I had my turn. Darn it. I know you can potentially get one out now. That's the problem. Mm, if I had the whole thing set up right now, okay, possibly. Good. You don't have that. You did not have the gold. Alright. Cool. Patience. That's a cool thing. Oh, that's nice. Um, so. I will. Regeki! Hmm. Yeah. Alright, and now... Apprentice Piper. Pop that effect. And we'll get the Sphinx Telly out here. Hi there. Luckily I know, luckily I know she can't... Oh, I know. I think that's only if she's summoned through the... Uh... Um. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, I know. She can't attack. She can't attack. Oh, just can't when she's... Yeah, during the turn she's normally special summoned. Yep. So yeah, I'll The only reason that. you were able to ignore her that last one because you got skill drain. Yep, but I might as well flip up the fire hand and go for a little punch of poo. So, y'all. The only issue is Sphinx Tila right now. Yeah, now finally we got a Sphinx out here with the Mound of the Bound. And it's not out here because of Pyramid, so mm -hmm. less vulnerabilities. Obviously, it's still not crazy attack points, but you still need to get a, one of your God cards, I think. So, 
Yeah. Which is okay. I'll activate hard. this Glyphnir. All right. Oh wait, perfect. Oh, good shout. Oh, I'll boy. do Mara. Summon out Mara. And then you can use it from your hand. Yeah. So let's go. Using Mara, I'll tune with the two monsters in my hand. Darn it. Hey, Loki. Loki, Lord of the Aegir. <laughs> Loki, man. man. Always can't underestimate the trickster. Yep. What's his effects all about again? When during the battle phase, if you try activating a trap card, I can negate it. Yeah. And then I can add a trap card from my graveyard back to my hand. Yep. Okay. So fortunately, since you took out the Sphinx, I think I still have a play. But you took out my Sphinx, bruh. Alright. Caravellum! <laughs> um, oh. not gonna lie, I just Skill drew drain. Yeah, I just drew Pyramid of Light, so the options are Torrential Tribute or Skill Drain, so... Hmm. Yeah, but is Skill Drain really gonna help you since I already have the Nordic God out? Yeah, because I'm about to kill it. Um... Yeah, I think Skill Drain's still the play here, because Torrential Tribute, like, it's not gonna destroy Nordic Gods, because oh, you... the, the Mound of the Bounds, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really the only safe play. I, like, I don't even care if I shuffle at this point, though, because, as you were saying, it's not massive. Um, it's not like I have my uh, Sphinx out anymore, otherwise that would be great. Um, but, mm -hmm. card I just threw in here because I noticed, well, it could potentially use them under rare circumstances, is a, uh, yeah, Sky Cavalry. <laughs> I got level twos. All right, so if I battle an opponent's monster, I can detach and return the monster out of here. So that sounds would, good. To would me. that work with mound on the field? That's a good question. I don't care. We're gonna find out because otherwise I lose. And activate because I'm not destroying you. Yes, thought so. Okay. Okay, that also answers a question on the. Uh... We had a little bit of an issue on the duel with me and Jinji. Like, we were arguing, we were trying to discuss, Ooh. like, does targeting and monsters in battle count as the same thing? And I was telling him, no, it does not count. They're two yeah, separate that's things. Attacking, yeah. yeah, so I guess that just proved my point okay. right there. So now we're back in a slightly advantageous position, but not massively. Because mm -hmm. really, it's just whoever gets the cards right now. Because I got attack points on the field, but. We know that's not the make or break point. The Mound of the Bounds are doing nothing right now. Uh, oh, yeah, and of course I do skill. It drains. did deal you 2,000 when I killed one of your monsters. Yeah, it did. It's just right now at this point, it's not going to do much. Um, so I guess the play here, now I have skill drain on the field, so. Yeah, but would you want to turn on your turn off your own Sky Cavalry? Yeah. Because even, well, I don't... even, if, yeah. even if you, because uh, even if you bring out your... Uh, even if you do that, I can still t synchro using my monsters. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to keep attacking for now. It's on the field in case I decide I need to use it. Um, yeah, that would be reasonable, but yeah, it's graveyard, so. And I still have another attack, so I'm not as afraid of giving you. I'm much rather give you one token than two. Safe to say. Mm hmm. One token's not half, not even a quarter as scary as, well, it's just not scary. Because the fact is you get lots of stuff when you have two tokens, that sets you up. Alright, we sit. Not even a scary field for me, I got Sky Cavalry leading the way here, so. <laughs> Level 2 yeah. plays I hear. Oh, oh that's sick haunted. though. And I can't stop that with anything, so. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to bring out... Vanitas. Darn it. And you know the thing I love about Vanitas? Yeah. She can count for any of the Nordic gods. Yeah. Hello, Thor. Darn it, now you can destroy my fire hand. That's so sad. Um, yeah. Yeah, but do you yeah. skill drain or. No, I can... don't. <laughs> I need to <laughs> use an effect someday to kill Thor, otherwise, he's never gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Firehand, that's the thing. Mount of Bound will stop Firehand, so. Alright, let's get down to 400. <sighs> yeah, so if, my, if Thor touches anyone else. Yeah, if you on just touch field. anyone, it's over, so I think it's over. Because, well, no, nah, even doesn't you matter what I do. You, you can't even pay for Skill Drain anymore now. 
can't. Or your pyramid of light. I can't. Darn it, and I just drew the great sphinx who could match you. Oh, you know, you need to have you need to have both Sphinx Teal and Andrew's yeah, yeah, at the same time. Yeah. So oh, well. do you wanna just go out do you wanna go out punching? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Firehand, before he can cancel your effect. Attack Thor! <laughs> And I like to think that from the grave, um, Mound of the Bound's now left since the duel's over, so the, from the grave he does kill Thor. Just throwing it out there. So so everyone's head cannon is appropriate here. Wait, mm -hmm. you do know Firehand's effect wouldn't even work on Thor because of Mound. No, that's what I'm saying. Mound's no longer on the field because the duel's over. I have Mound... Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> exactly. It's very... You have to really imagine in a certain order for this to work. And even though the duel's over, the graveyard effects... Because graveyard can... Res come, that's after duel stuff. You know, yeah. so... Call of the Haunted came in... First. Call of the Haunted came in clutch that time. That was so clutch. Like, I would have won just by having a level 2 play on the field. But yeah, the Sphinxes have lost. Yeah, the Nordic deck definitely is a bit more... Well, then again, the Sphinx deck could probably be made more viable. Yeah, we haven't. This is actually the oldest. Yeah, this is of the just. Sphinx the, yeah, stuff. we never really tried to make a competitive Sphinx version. So I but, think, I think at one point you did make it. You did improve it, but it might have been cleared out from the you clearing maybe. out your decks. Maybe. Um, I don't think it was much. But it was probably very similar to this. Like all I can say is it probably had like some solemns or something in it. Like I, I don't have a mindset that makes these guys easy to use yet. No, it just um, slows on your opponent long enough for you to possibly do something. Yeah, exactly. There's still, like, you just gotta wait until you get the ways to summon these guys. But if you guys do want to see a more competitive version of the Sphinx deck, you know, feel free to let me know. We'll see if we can make one. And if you know of a very competitive version of a Sphinx deck, then feel free to post it in the Discord. It's open to all of you. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like, and we'll see you next time.